The Edelweiss staff will doubtless be eager to show off their facility to a fellow physician. I have already taken the liberty of sending a letter on your behalf to request a visit. And what of you? I shall be pursuing other avenues. Should you see anything troublesome or improper, simply notify the local authorities. Otherwise, try a little analysis yourself. You know my methods. Apply them. Salutations, madam. I am Dr. John Watson. I was wondering if you've got word of my visit. Yeah, Dr. Watson. We received your letter on the matter. Would it be to see Professor Gygax? At their earliest convenience, yes. I shall try not to take up too much of their valuable time. Wait here, bitte. Mr. and Mrs. Bronson, your girl has made remarkable progress. See? Take a look for yourself. My apologies for keeping you waiting, Dr. Watson. Surely you understand how medical work can make one lose track of time. Do not be sorry, Professor. I too know the importance of closely attending to patients. The work hardly stops here, yet the satisfaction of perfecting the mind compels us to persevere. I take it you welcome many a soul into your establishment? Admissions, yes. Visitors, though? I am curious as to what brought you to the Schwarzes Edelweiss. Word of mouth. An article I read back in London spoke highly of your institution. But rather than taking its word for it, I thought I would see things for myself. My asylum's reputation precedes it then. Everyone, your attention, please. Guten day. Yes, hi. Hello. The name's Amos Colby, Northwood Detective Agency, Boston. I got questions that need answers. Who's in charge here? What seems to be the matter, Dr. Watson? You can tell me. By Jove, it, it cannot be him. That man, well, the, the real Amos Colby lies six feet under in London. No, 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 no. In my line of work, it can't wait. The longer it takes if you to get wish to, the to recuperate, truth, Dr. Watson, you may avail yourself of the guest room. But I have so much more to discuss. Nurse, if you'd be so kind as to escort Dr. Watson to the guest room. Herr Colby, from Northwood Agency. How unexpected. I am Professor Gygax. I would be happy to answer your questions in the examination room. Look, Professor, unless you got any clues as to the whereabouts of... Ah! 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 There is no need to be alarmed. No one gets neglected in my care. <clears throat> now, now. Let's not resort to brute force. Do not worry, Herr Colby. My methods are rather more delicate. <laughs> Search him thoroughly. Then take him to the holding chamber. To decide precisely what to do with our guest. Oh. Oh. Ah, the unmistakable scent of alcoholism. Did you walk through their doors as I did, or did they collect you off the streets?
truncheon. Not the typical tool for a nurse. I can get past him without being noticed. There's the guest room. I wonder if Watson was able to speak to Gygax. Locked. I suppose the reception will be guarded anyway. This sedative worked faster than I expected. Perhaps I ought to train myself, build up a tolerance. I'd rather not sit in this chair ever again. What was that? Is someone there? Very sturdy. I might borrow it. Final product, ready to cure madness, or to push one deeper into its grasp. Any chemist would envy the quality of this equipment. Raw materials used to formulate medicine. With this equipment, they can create any type of medication. command you to free me at once. I'm not sure that's a great idea at the moment. How dare you deny me? I must have my revenge against the Lickspittles upstairs. Well, fortunately for you, I'm here to stop the very same people. You are? Indeed. But first, I must discover all I can about this institution. Tell me, have you witnessed the arrival of any foreign patients? Tell me? The goal? The impertinence to bark such orders? Please, we don't have time for this. Do you know with whom you speak? I am the great Napoleon! Ah. Napoleon Bonaparte? The one and only. Emperor of the French, first consul of the Republic, leader of La Grande Armée. Once I am free and have exacted my revenge against the guards who ridicule me, I shall rest happy in the arms of my beloved Josephine. Right. Well, I will leave you to your scheming, Emperor. My heart is pierced by Cupid. I disdain all glittering gold. There is nothing can console me but my jolly sailor boat.
A simple toolbox, yet capable of repairing anything. A certificate of appreciation from the municipal councillor to Professor Becker for contributions to the development of medicine in Interlaken. Tubes of varying diameters. Interesting. R.G. Hill, Dr. Connolly, it appears that all the psychiatric classics were banished here. John Sallow, the Tulpa phenomenon. I'm somewhat of an expert already. A painting in a mental institution. Vogel would be delighted. This photo was damaged seemingly by oil. I can make up the names listed here. Cooking grease. Is this the kitchen dumbwaiter? Looks like it's still operational. This should suffice. Speech and the Cerebellum by S. A. Becker. I'm sure I heard something. <gasps> this should be enough to avoid unwanted attention at least from a distance. <laughs> this is the same narcotic substance that we found in London. Manufactured and packaged here.
will tear your lips from your skull with my fingernails. Miss, I... I'll gouge your eyes out and cut off your hands, just like you did to Heidi. I am quite certain you would, but I'm afraid you have me mistaken for someone else. So, I take it your name is Gerda? Who is Heidi? You talk strange. You're going to Hell's Door, aren't you? To where those other funny talkers finally shut up? Hell's Door? To what do you refer? Only Heidi had answers. Go away, pig! I merely- I said go, or you will spend your last moments on Earth screaming. This door won't stop me. They took you away, and I'll never forgive them. Fabric burnt in the furnace. A jalabir, a traditional garment from Northern Africa. So you're Heidi. I didn't realize I was on haunted doll watch. Lord, how unsettling. The damage seems intentional. This stretcher was disinfected frequently. The doors can be open for deliveries. These are the same crates we found in London. I should take a closer look. Bottle this sturdy doesn't break by accident. Substantial blood loss. One poor soul found another way out. I doubt that one could survive such a journey with this little water. The kidnappers even provided airflow. How generous. Dirt and sweat. They were locked in here for days, judging by the smell. This is the same design as the one from London. This trip was prolonged and perilous.
So this is how they kept the prisoners docile and harmless. Carriages were back through these doors, and they began to unload their cargo in secret. Next, the crates were opened, freeing their passengers. Not everyone survived the journey. Dirty, exhausted, and dehydrated prisoners were then herded into cells. All the cells are now empty, and I have not located a morgue. Time to find Hell's Door. for what they did to Heidi. I believe I have found your friend. Heidi! Oh, poor girl. What did they do to you? Shh. It's all right now. Everything will be all right. Please, Gerda. Now I have found Heidi, I need some help from you in return. Shh, Heidi. We should thank the man, don't you think? Professor Gygax seems to rule this facility with an iron fist. Do you know anything about her? She's sick. She did nasty things to us. Separated me and Heidi just for fun. Before she got here, this place was all right. Have you ever met Professor Becker? I remember him. He was in charge here before that witch Gygax. But I haven't heard his voice for a long time. Too bad. He was nice. How did you end up in Block B? The nurses say I'm prone to violent outbursts, but they're wrong. I just do what Heidi tells me. Tell me all you know about those funny talking people. We'd hear their screams. The guards would take them down the corridor behind you and they'd disappear, and the screams would stop. I shall leave you two to get reacquainted. I was so scared I'd lost you, Heidi. I didn't know what to do without you. It's okay. You don't have to be afraid anymore.
still love you, Heidi. Despite what they did. I still love you, Heidi, despite what they did. I still love you, Heidi, despite what they did.
scratches. Something has been moved through here. This seems to be a locking mechanism. The whole thing must be a door. for what they did to Heidi. I found Hell's door, the one that made the foreigners silent, remember? How do I open it? Gerda, please, I cannot get inside. You have to tell me how to open it. How can you speak to me like nothing's wrong? Can't you hear Heidi crying? Look at her! Look! She's suffering. I can't even hear my thoughts over her screams. Poor, poor Heidi. We will fix you, I promise. We will fix you! Leave it with me, Gerda. You're going to be good as new. Will this help fix your friend? Give it to me. How is she feeling? Everything will be all right, Heidi. Everything. Goethe, I have a couple of questions. Yes, I... <laughs> Take your little mouth, Goethe. You've said enough already. Uh... She won't speak no more. Now it's only Heidi. You helped me, and I didn't cut out your eyes. So we're even. Now go! <laughs> Heidi, there are things I need some clarity on. Ask if you dare, but if I get bored, there will be consequences.
Stay here, Heidi. I shall leave you two to get reacquainted. I will make them pay for what they did to Heidi. Heidi, there are things I need some clarity on. Ask if you dare, but if I get bored, there will be consequences. Stay here, Heidi. I shall leave you two to get reacquainted. I will make them pay. Heidi, there are things I need some... Ask it. I found Hell's Door, but it's locked. Is there a way to get in? Hell's Door? Never heard of it. That's not true. You, Gerda, told me that Hell's Door makes people silent forever. And you believe that snotty little girl? I'll personally ensure that she never dares to speak again! <laughs> Professor Gygax hurt you repeatedly, scarred your body and mind. You are not protecting Hell's Door, you are simply afraid of the consequences were I to enter. I could tap your teeth out with a hammer until you choked on the blood in bits. You could. But then you would live the rest of your life in fear of Professor Gygax. I can make that feeling go away. How? I can stop her. But the key, Heidi, the key to Hell's door is critical to stopping Professor Gygax. And I think you know where it is. Tell him! But you said... And now I say tell him! The Professor... She has a special key. Keeps it close and only brings it down when you people go through. Behind those closed doors, those people start to sing. Oh, they sing in so much pain. Gygax, of course. Thank you, Gerda. Heidi, I must leave. Leave? <laughs> you joke. Nobody leaves the Edelweiss. Now you will be with us forever! <laughs> <laughs> 